Certainly, we saw a number of very interesting presentations in the immuno-oncology track. One session focused on innovation and vaccination, and uh, the one abstract that I chose to highlight was an interesting strategy. The idea is that you um, remove circulating tumor cells from patients and then engineer them into a vaccine and then administer that vaccine. So what's really exciting to me about that idea, and obviously these are concepts that are in early development, but what's really exciting to me is the idea of being able to treat one's own cancer with one's own cancer cells without potentially needing to administer any priming chemotherapy or co-administration of any other therapies. So it was very early data, but I think that the concept is really interesting. We also saw a lot of strategies that combined conventional checkpoint blockade with other targets, including um, LAG3 or OX40, for example. And the reason for that is that checkpoint blockade benefits really only the minority of patients. Of course, when it works, it can be incredibly successful in conferring long-term durable responses. But we need to make these strategies relevant for the majority of patients. And so to do this, we need to combine with other targets. So um, we saw two studies that uh, presented combination strategies, um, again, looking at combination with OX40, so an agonist, and one with a second target to LAG3, which is typically presented on exhausted T cells, with very, very encouraging results in those two studies.